Now, the rest of the story. Well, I think I'm getting a handle of this new camera. Well, problem is, is I have a bolt that goes into the bottom of my phone holder. And I tried to set you guys up on the corner post, but that bar is half as thick as the one that you're sitting on. I had to install that to mount the air supply system for the corn planter for the reveal trash units. I had to mount that on it last year or this spring. But this tractor is super duper nice. This is a 7920 with IBT, and the IBT just spoils you. Say, Dad was saying the other day I had him, what was he doing with the 40? Oh, we were hooking the 4640 up, getting it on the cart and everything. I had him running the tractor. Yeah, he's spoiled. He's a dead. You know, you go from running this is essentially a Cadillac, and then you go back to the 4640. It's like a scooter, an electric one at that. But the 4640 is reliable. I mean, you get those old Soundguard cab machines, and I mean, the 4640 really doesn't owe us much. The 7600 either, or the 4020. I mean, we we got our money out of them easily. And now you guys, you want to watch? what the combine's up to. It's easier to empty on the go with the 79 and this IVT because I already know he's going about three miles an hour. So I just set my speed and the combine's got a hydrostat transmission. So as long as I maintain speed and the proper distance from the combine, he's able to get the cart filled pretty good. And we are rolling right along here. We got started at a decent time. I went through the combine last night. Um, I grease it more than it recommends, but it seems how yesterday was the first day and we did run through the 40 acres or so. Um, I went through all the grease zerks and just freshened them all up. And other than uh, cleaning the air filters tonight, I'll probably grease it every other day going forward here. And then probably every third day when it comes to combining corn. Just beans, as you can see, beans are just so dirty. And that, for how dusty it was last night, um, for what we ran yesterday, it's, it's ridiculous. That combine was, well, fairly clean. I, it's been washed twice since um, two and a half times, technically, since harvest. I mean, I got the air hose, then the pressure washer last fall, and then I got the pressure washer again this this fall. And there, I'm not looking for perfection. My goal is I'm trying to get anything out of it that rodents may see as food or habitat. I don't like seeing mouse droppings anywhere near this combine when we go to get, uh, pull it out. And I always check the radiator shroud, the fan, when I go to start it every year because I get anxious. Um, I've heard way too many horror stories from people saying that um, there was a hidden raccoon in the, the fan shroud for the radiator, and they send the raccoon through the radiator. So we always try to check for that. Um, what do you think? Uh, all right, need a little bit more on this one. Let's go park it and call it good. I'm not really in a big hurry to start corn harvest. I mean, I like to enjoy bean harvest to a certain degree. And beans, as of right now, are treating us really well. And I haven't really talked about the row crops this year because personally I thought they were, weren't were going to be that great. 
and so far the beans are performing and the corn I again didn't do much scouting of the ears I was just watching for tar spot and disease uh, but from what I can tell um, before I'm hearing uh, yields are are promising so as far as soybeans go I thought they looked rather poor until all the leaves had actually fallen off so that's a pretty substantial part of our growing season um, getting up to the point of the beans losing all their leaves and what that is is those leaves were gone and it revealed all of the pods we had across these beans so I mean they're not tiny beans either I'm hearing reports like out in Iowa there's some guys getting um, soybeans the size of uh, BBs and I wouldn't say we're we're dealing with that yet but this is probably one of our nice ur farms but overall my parents ground usually really is any pretty consistent anymore so I'll wait for him to get another well it won't take a full fill from the combine we'll get this cart filled up and maybe Ryan will be back by then otherwise I got enough room because I got a, that grain wagon is empty. I'll bring that up if I need to just to keep the combine rolling. I'll talk to you guys later.